the Constitution. Uh, everyone here in, on this, the uh, commissioner's court and all the men and women in uniform have taken the vow to uphold the constitutions of both Texas and the United States. Uh, what uh, stopping someone from having free speech is a violation of the Constitution, but nothing happens. I mean, he actually should have been arrested for that. That was a crime. But there are two separate laws that people live under. There's the people that work for the government and the people that don't. If I stand up here and commit a crime, I would be arrested. I have no doubt in that. And that's a big problem. The reason that, a big reason that people have such bad feelings towards the government is because we do live under two separate sets of laws. And that really needs to change. And thank you. Richard Blake. First of all, I want to uh, thank you all for putting this item on the agenda that was requested last week. I want to also thank Commissioners Phillips and Nix for, uh, on TV, saying that they would be more than willing to look at changing the time of the court to accommodate the citizens. But as I thought about it since last Tuesday, <clears throat> this is my thought. The issue is not so much the meeting time but the opportunity for citizens to have a dialogue or have questions answered about the commissioner's court before any action is taken. So what happens here is here we are making public comments and we can only comment on agenda items. However, we don't really know what the court is going to say or do about a particular agenda item. So how can we really address that until we know what action you're considering or that you may or may not take. Um, I know when public comment comes before any agenda item, it kind of puts us at a disadvantage. I know this Tyler City Council, they have agenda items, and what they do is the council <coughs> addresses the agenda item and has whatever discussion or people coming in and talking about it, and then the public has a chance to comment on that agenda item, so on down the line which makes more sense because if you don't know what you are going to do, we can't really comment about it or have input before the fact. Um, so I would like to recommend that a, a group of people put to, be put together of commissioners and the public to sit down and discuss the meeting, the agenda, how public speaking is allowed or disallowed, and see if we can come up with solutions to this problem um, I'm not sure why the agenda items are like they are, if that's just been the way it's been done for years and years, and, but I think maybe it's time to take a look at changing that. The other issue has to do with the rules of decorum for this court. And reading from your rules, it says that this is not a forum to publicly demean any group or individual. In accordance, the court will not allow a member of the public to question the integrity of the court or its members. And that's similar to what Mr. Garner said. I have issue with that. Integrity, according to the dictionary, is the quality of being honest and fair. It's adherence to moral and ethical principles. And if we take the First Amendment, there are two parts of it that this addresses. One is that Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or abridging the right of the people to petition the court or the government for a redress of grievances. Redress means resolution. Grievance means complaint. So basically we're looking, you cannot deny us the right to come to you and look for a solution to a complaint we have. However, when you control the agenda and you control who can speak and for how long and on what subject, becomes very difficult to do that. Mr. Blake, your time is running. All right. May I have one more? I'd like yes. to right extend his time. Okay. <clears throat> so abridging means curtailing or depriving. Again, this might be more appropriate to be discussed at a different time or place. Now, I'm not saying that the, we need to have every meeting in the evening, although that would be probably more convenient for the public. I do know that all the support staff would probably have difficulty in, if every week the meeting was at night. Uh, what I would like to see is agenda discussed with counts with court commissioners 
before it comes up for action to be taken. And I'll just leave you with one quote I found that seems appropriate. We're called private citizens and public officials because the government, in almost every case, is, is supposed to know very little about us, the ordinary people, whereas we're supposed to know nearly everything about their activities. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.